In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for CH3Br. This is called bromomethane. So we start with the Lewis structure. In our Lewis structure here, we can see the carbon, it has four things attached to it. So we're looking at the molecular geometry from the perspective of the carbon. There's a few ways we can do this. We have four things, that means the steric number is four, and they're all bonds. They're all chemical bonds between the carbon and these atoms. So there are no lone pairs. That means we'll have a tetrahedral molecular geometry for CH3Br. The bond angles will be about 109.5. Another way we could do this is just try to visualize the molecular geometry. That'll look like this. So the purple, that'll represent that central carbon. Remember, we had four things. We had three hydrogen atoms, and they all spread out to be as far away from each other as they possibly can be. And then we have that bromine. That gives us this tetrahedral molecular geometry, the bond angle about 109.5. Our electron geometry is the same because there's no lone pairs on that central carbon. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. Final way to look at the molecular shape or geometry for CH3Br is the AXE notation. A, that's the central atom, the carbon. X, that's the number of atoms attached. We have one, two, three, four. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. And there aren't any lone pairs on the central carbon. They're all involved in bonds. Put a zero there. So if you look up AX4, you'll find that it's tetrahedral, just like we found the other ways. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.